Thank you guys so much for joining into the live stream today. We got something special ready for you. And by we, I mean a friend and I are joining in uh, into this live stream. We're going to do the 30 days of Bible lettering because today is April 1st and we're launching into the ninth, ninth, ninth round of the 30 days of Bible lettering. I cannot believe that's actually round number nine because when I started out in 2000, I think it was 2016 where we started the first challenge was after a 100 day creative challenge that I did. And the challenge is probably something that has actually brought me the most forward in terms of creativity. I've learned so many things during this time and because a challenge is great, you have to push yourself. You have limits, deadlines that you cannot draw longer than. And so drawing every single day something and then sharing it on Instagram was probably one of the most beneficial things that I have had in a creative career. And before we get any further, I want to thank um, one of my Patreon member, Kristran Hyartar. Uh, she actually is supporting this video, this stream here with $25 per month that she's giving to me and supporting me with that. So she is a essential part of the live stream here and you can become an essential part too by just becoming an exclusive member. You get access to all the previous Q and A's, you get access to secret posts behind the scenes, things that I'm working on that I'm not even sharing or allowed to share really on, on Instagram, on social media. And uh, you guys get to ask questions. My assistant is helping you guys out on this platform and she is directing all these questions to me. And on Friday, so this Friday, we're gonna have a beautiful long webinar together. So it's kind of like a team community chat where we're gonna be all face to face on Zoom. We're gonna hang out there and we're gonna talk. So if you wanna become a member there too, you can already become one from $1. And uh, last week, uh, oh, well, last week, last Monday, to uh, the last video we did, the last live stream, was about drawing the names of my YouTube or Patreon members. So guys, if you wanna become an exclusive member, you can do that. The link is down in the description and uh, you can help support the stream too and do more, that I can do more of these videos, even like grow the quality. My brother and I were looking into how to get better camera, better setup, better lighting, make this whole thing here look really exciting for you guys so that the quality of the live streams is only going to improve. All right, I am excited to bring in a brand new guest that I have not shared in here. We did a live stream yesterday on Instagram and he asked me a ton of great questions. And while we ask great questions, I was also drawing. And so I thought today, why not ask him to join me in this, uh, in this live stream so that we can not only entertain you guys visually, but also audio, like with audio. So you can just concentrate on your drawing, listen into a great conversation while I get creative and also explain to you the process of how I'm doing things. Today's verse is faith can move mountains. You can find that link on 30daysofbiblelettering.com. You can also go on the Instagram and find which verses are chosen. You can do it in any language you want. You can do it in any, like you can even change the Bible verse if you want to. And if you want to participate in this challenge, it's a great challenge for you, but also a great way to encourage other people to, um, to believe in these times, kind of like these times right now that we're in, that there's hope that we can actually move something with faith. And so here is my guest, Thomas, and let me unmute him, get him ready. And uh, so, all right, Thomas, you're live. Hi. So I'm excited Hi, to be here with you. you. It's good to see you too. Um, um, it's already so many people in the, oh, in so the comments, commenting where they're from. I see someone from India. Um, from Brazil, we have some someone from Vienna. Servus nach Vienna. Um, so it's really cool. Um, a lot of people joining in. So hey, um, tell us where you're from. Um, I'm very excited to see uh, um, an international crowd of people. And I myself, I sit in Munich at the moment. We have lockdown in Munich. So here we go. Scotland, Australia, Israel, Philippines, Philippines, Romania. Wow. Romania, Colombia, it Venezuela. So cool. Hi. Hi back. Good to see you guys. All right. Egypt. Oh so, man, so many people. Ukraine, California. Greetings from Kenya. Um, Kenya must be a beautiful country. I've never been to. I've been to other countries in Africa, but not Kenya. Okay, so Stefan. 
You will today draw faith will move mountains. Faith can move mountains. I think that's can the way. Can move mountains. Mountains. Yeah. So the the way I usually start right away is I will actually write it out at the top of my page and usually I draw on this size of canvas and I don't know why the uh, the screen is so bad in quality. What is happening right now? Maybe I have to change the Nope, this is something is not right with the camera. It's very pixely, right? <laughs> yep. There's something wrong and I have to figure out what it is so we can keep on doing this. Um it might be a In connection. the meantime, in the meantime you're doing this, um I see so many more people. It's crazy Toronto. Someone else is commenting Munich and thumbs up. Yes. Um and then uh, Qatar, Toronto, um, Netherlands, Peru, Indonesia, Pakistan, Malaysia, Kuwait, Lebanon, Panama. That's crazy. Okay, we have an international crowd of people. Um, so many people. So, all right, something is still not working. This is really bad. Okay, let's let's move on to another option. There's always a backup to make stuff work. Maybe not the best backup yet. Well, so you always have a backup for uh, situations like this? <laughs> not at all. But somehow, <laughs> luckily enough, um, I do have something ready let's see um i might have to connect here a new camera and uh -ba -bum. video capture device so this is all freestyle guys this is not how it's supposed to happen but we're doing it anyway because we have to uh let's see there is a <laughs> camera over here and i have to rotate this around maybe i have to just actually get something working here this one looks a lot better like it's working but something is lagging yeah. behind i don't know this what, looks really good what it is so let's just i need to maybe also stop my video towards you just to see if that will save some Some energy. Uh, yeah. Advance, advance. Okay, let's see. Oof, oof, oof. And then let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not. This has never happened before. I feel like my laptop is about to explode. <laughs> and I don't feel like I have too many too many tabs open or running. Let me yeah. just check my ex Maybe it's activity monitor. Maybe it's too much with the zoom as well, Stefan. No, we did that. We did it even crazier than that. Um, let's see. Transform, rotate 100 degrees. Oh, that wasn't the, the right one that I turned around. Transform again. There we go. So it is still a little bit wonky. I might have to disconnect my phone here just to see if that will do the trick. That looks actually like it's working a lot better now. Okay. Okay, perfect. Someone is commenting, it's fine if we only can hear the voices and see the screen. Yep. So um, I think that's the most important. It's true. 
All right, this seems to be working somehow. I hope you guys get enough quality over here. So let's get started. So sorry for this interruption. Faith can move mountains. Um, I definitely have faith that it would work. So that's already one positive things. Now that I have these words out, I usually will cross them into boxes and, and kind of like simplify the versions. So I can now kind of come up with a few sketches. So kind of like faith can, and then have like the move somewhere here, maybe even, even in cursive. So I, usually I cannot multitask a lot during these times because I'm, I'm uh, actively thinking of, of composition effects. Um, and maybe I can add like a mountain in between here. So this is one version that I could do. Maybe if we then move this around. And so in my mind, what happens actually is, is I create like these boxes around, like seeing how they could fit together, uh, something like here. And now I see like there's a lot of space, so maybe here could be a mountain. But it's kind of cliche as well to have a mountain inside, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but then what else could we try? Like I love certain ways how an F is drawn. So kind of like this, we did that in the uh, ABC stream last week on Thursday. Um, so if anybody wants to figure out like how to draw letters, certain letters, uh, we did a lot of that there. And then kind of finding like the spaces between like here you, you can use the embellishments around. Oh, you know what I could do? So you could see that too. Um, I actually can get the camera. Yeah, maybe uh, because the focus, um, so I was focusing again. So maybe you have to switch off the automatic focus. Yep, that is a great idea. Let's see if we can do this Logitech. Also something happened right here, which is weird. Ah, technology. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it just does not. <laughs> okay, let's see if that switches it. Someone was asking if you actually have a backup for the backup. So what would happen if this backup would fail now? Um, hey, we're doomed. No, <laughs> of course not. There's always something. <laughs> There's always something. I hope not. I. I'm gra grateful for everyone who is is patient with me, um, who kind of has like, who understands the struggle of streaming live. Plus, we're trying to, to try out new things. Like, if if things don't fail, then you're probably not trying or pushing hard enough. That could be a quote on a T-shirt. Faith can move. Now the question is, where do you put the move inside here? Mountains is just a really long word. So, so far right now, I'm really happy with this idea and I feel like we can make the most out of that. Um, I'm just gonna go because we're kind of like time sensitive. Um, copy and paste, take this into a new layer. But if I needed some more inspiration, some more ideas, what I also do is I have a whole library of pre-composed grids that I use. So here in the um, grid for the 30 days of Bible lettering, like, I already have some ideas um, of things that work. So now I'm back. That's really cool. Oh. Yeah, I was just, I just disappeared for a second, but that's a problem. <laughs> All right, so where is it? Where is it? Illustrations here. For example, I could come up here and see like if there's anything that could work within, because like if we want to just draw a mountain inside um, using a grid, for example, for example, something like this. So if I grow this out, turn this around. So you can imagine drawing some letters inside here. So if I go back uh, to faith, can, and then have them move pretty big here, have the mountains somewhere there, and then kind of like have the mountains back here. Are you still with us, Thomas? I'm still with you, yeah. 
Um, there was there was a question um, uh, for you, Stefan. Um, which free apps um, you can recommend um, that people can use to draw? So free apps definitely would recommend. I would recommend using uh, Procreate. Well, no, free apps is um, is Adobe Sketch. But honestly, there's just nothing that compares to Procreate. So if, if you can spend 10 bucks on anything, like save up two cups of coffee for yourself um, and, and just do yourself a favor, like get Procreate. Like if you already bought the iPad, then Procreate is just the best application you can have. Um, and I would, for some people, I would even go so far, I would say like, hey, I'm, I'm going to buy um, I'm going to buy them Procreate instead of trying them, let them use another app. Mm -hmm. I, I just have so much confidence. Like free is free is free. And like, yes, Adobe has more money to, to give away things for free. But as much as I like Adobe and I use their products still a lot, um, the, the drawing app like Procreate, there's just nothing like Procreate. Okay. And I'm not making myself what do you think any about... favors. <laughs> um, someone commented the Autodesk and Sketchbook. Um, do you have any exper experience with this apps, yeah. with those apps? I do not have much experience with other apps, to be honest. Like there's Affinity okay. as well, but Affinity is way more expensive. Um, they are great. But yeah, honestly, it's it's really just I am so happy with with Procreate, they keep adding some amazing features. And you know, I, I actually went back to them and said like, you know what? I would pay so much more money for this app. Like I would pay monthly 10, 20 bucks to use this app. Um, if that means that you can like have more money and e even be able to, to put into more research, like somehow you need to be funded and I don't want this app to go, go bankrupt. And they're like, no, we're fine. And we believe that once you pay for the app that you should have it for always and forever for free. And so I love their philosophy and that's that side. And so I'm not paid in any way by, um, by, uh, Procreate to say anything of this, but they're just amazing and they're so lovely people. So if anyone is yeah, yeah. watching from Procreate, you guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, someone is commenting, yes, Procreate is the best. Okay. I'm um, so there's another question from um, Karin um, and she's asking, can you recommend one of your brush packages to start with, with on Procreate? Well, besides the grid builder, so this is the grid builder here that I'm using now. Um, so it's, these are basic shapes that you can use. So this is what I'll be using to, to draw circles around. Um, and I'll duplicate this here. So just that I have the perfect circular shape in some way. Yes. And, um, and then end. And then like just any brushes, I would definitely like, you can get my, the, the ones that I use most, I have those for free because I also believe in in having the best possible tools. And so it's a pencil and a brush that you can get for free if you sign up to my newsletter. And also just like I use brushes like kind of these, um, where are they? My, 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 my paint brushes here, like this one is one of my favorite brushes. It's, it's a kind of a nice, beautiful, um, like paints watercolor effect. Um, mm -hmm. so this is a great, great thing to use as well. Okay, cool. So if, if you sign up for the newsletter, you actually, you actually, this. yeah, um, we'll send you out a link to download all yeah. the products. So you sign up, you acknowledge, like you say yes to, um, to receiving emails, uh, and you can still turn it off later if you want to. That's absolutely fine. Like, honestly, I know that people don't like to get jammed and spammed with emails and we don't do that. We try to keep it as low as possible. Mm -hmm. So talking of, I'm just going to take that paintbrush here because I want to, <laughs> I want to add some here. Perfect. There is another question. Um, uh, and it says, Thomas, please tell us more about yourself. Okay. Well, 
then uh, if you're asking, um, I will just take um, a little time. Um, so I'm from Munich. I'm a photographer and activist. And I have known Stefan now for two and a half years, yeah. I guess. Uh, and um, uh, common that we have a passion for photography and also that we are both believing. Um, so that's our big connections that we have. And yesterday we did a live um, on my Instagram account, Thomas underline Mandel, Mandel, M-A-N-D-L. Um, so yesterday we talked about Corona, we talked about the whole crisis, we talked about being creative and all of that. We talked about routines and habits and um, I really appreciated to spend a lot of time with Stefan talking about all of those things and it was very helpful for a lot of people. So yeah, if you have more questions, just um, uh, type them in and go ahead and otherwise um, I think I will start with asking some questions to you, Stefan. Go for it. Um, uh, so it's very basic, very, very basic questions, this or that. So uh, because yesterday you were already talking, um, you were telling us um, uh, that you are spending a lot of time um, on your phone, on YouTube. But um, so on Netflix, what do you watch? TV shows or movies? Um... Currently, I'm waiting for a new TV series to come out, uh, which is uh, House of Cards, no, not House of Cards, it's uh, um, Paper Castle. What's it called in German? Like, what's it called in English? House of Scandals? Um, uh, Money Heist. House of oh, yeah. Um, Money Heist. Money Heist, yeah. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, that one is excellent. It's a Spanish series, and I cannot wait to come out. Like, I've been, it's, it should be, for, it should be out Papel. on Fridays. Yeah, Casa de Papel, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And since I do not know any Spanish, um, I'm, I'm still really excited about this series to come out. Yeah, yeah. actually Tuesday is always my favorite days. Um, so yesterday a new episode of Better Call Saul came out and that's Ooh. my favorite series at the moment. Um, I don't know if you guys watch um, Casa de Papel, um, uh, Money Haste or um, Better Call Saul. Um, so. Oh, you know what? I just had an idea. Look, I have, I, I made this book. This is a shameless plug right now, but you see how this word, this, what, what's what been bothering me here is that the word mountain just was too long. And, and so it didn't really fit like faith can move. It's like, those are short words. And so right here we have the same problem with like masterpiece is super long, but you are gods is super short. So I'm going to take actually this same example and try to, to do this here too in some way sorry this was uh, a short short idea that i had to move it's around. good it's good if you if you share your ideas as well um, is it a book what is it is it a notebook that you designed or no so this is actually from all the 30 days of bible lettering challenges that i did um i actually like they were all put together in in a book and so there's always something inspiring, uh, something encouraging from my, from inspired from my captions and some we have rewritten, um, but they're all a lot of great yeah. Bible verses in here. Some, some, some things, even the thing we did in Jordan, we talked about that yesterday. Um, yeah. A lot of great stuff in here just to encourage people. And the things that I did for, during the third days of Bible lettering, this is kind of where it ended up in. Oops, what's happening? Oh. Yeah, Tevis, Tevis loves Better Call Saul as well. Um, uh, uh, really cool. And there's some other people commenting that they really like Money Haste. Um, so there's a really easy question for you, Stefan. Tell me. Um, how old are you? I... And let me guess, I. I think I know how old you are, but I'm not sure. All right, tell but me. But I would guess that you are um, uh, 29. Ooh, close. 28. 28, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Almost. <laughs> Almost, you're close. So there's another one. How old are you? So we just, yeah, actually I'm turning 30 this year. So I'm 29. Um, Does it feel any different? Someone to know, else is commenting to, to that, know that you're going to the 30s. 
I don't know. I think so, actually. Um, I've been thinking a lot about turning 30, so I think that's the difference because I'm normally not thinking so much about um, turning or like um, half day. So, but I've started thinking about turning 30 like some months ago. So it's a difference, but we will see when it comes closer. I'm very excited for the day before. <laughs> Someone turned 34 yesterday. Congratulations. Wow, congrats. Um, uh, happy birthday. Belated birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. Um, so let's all type in happy birthday, Michelle. Um, happy belated birthday, Michelle. So Supernova says that she's now 30 and there is no difference. Thank you. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it only gets better, right? Um, so that's, that's really good. That's very encouraging. So, um, uh, Stefan, for you, breakfast or no breakfast? Oh, I love breakfast. Probably if I could choose any meal of the day, it would be breakfast. I love, I just love breakfast. Um, okay. But I don't eat it <laughs> every single morning. So, um, like, if I can have anything on a weekend, like brunch, it's kind of the most amazing thing. Um, because I just enjoy, like, spending time, quality time with people. And, and so usually breakfast, brunch is kind of the best time. Like coffee is good um, and then eating something good is amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. I couldn't do it like the Italians, just like having one cookie or something in the morning. Ugh, um, no. I, need, I need a proper breakfast as well. So uh, let's get back to the movies and series. Um, uh, oh yeah, so... Oh, Game of Thrones or Stranger Things? Uh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things, okay. For me as well, that's very clear. Yeah. And for actors, um, Leonardo DiCaprio or Brad Pitt? Um. Oh. So did you see uh, the la latest movie they did, like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah. I feel like. Brad Pitt really killed it in that movie. He played it so well. And Leonardo mm. DiCaprio, like he's a great talent. Like he can play so many different roles and really believable. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's crazy to think about that. He only won one Oscar. Um, yeah. But, 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 I would go, who would I go for? Yeah, I think Brad Pitt because he was in Fight Club and he was like, really killing it there mm. yeah definitely um that's so true but i i would say leonardo dicaprio i yeah. really like this guy yeah but it's true in uh, in the latest movie um uh, once upon a time in hollywood um i really liked the playing the acting of brad Pitt as well yeah so there's a question for me stranger things or dark i would go for um stranger things um even if dark is a German series or it plays in Germany, um, I would go for Stranger Things. Um, Stefan, do you play any instruments? I used to play the drums. One of the one instruments that I really wanted to learn was playing the drums. And I asked my parents and like really tried for a long time to convince them to get me a drum. But then I was really mm -hmm. focused on trying to play in a band for a musical. Um, there's a musical happening in Switzerland um, every Easter, around Easter, and I s wanted to be the drummer so bad, and so I, tr I ad auditioned a couple of times and I lost uh, faith doing it, and so I was really disappointed when I didn't get in, um, and so mm. I ended that, and I was okay, uh, because that opened up my time for other things, uh, which actually just is greater. Yeah, really so you, you talked your you talked your parents into getting your drums, but you got them. I, I'm not sure if I really talked them into it. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm really that crazy. Like, usually parents love you and they want to get you anything, anyways. Um, but mm. sometimes they have to convince themselves. I think more than someone else. Mm. All right. So just to give you an update of what's been happening, so I kind of like. Um, yes, please. Designed here um, all these elements. So here, this is kind of the sketch that I went for in the beginning. So faith can move mountains, added some mountains at the at the bottom. Um, and now what I'm doing is 
is using using the grid builder. So I use all these shapes here to kind of give me a exact shape of what I want to draw. You see here the faith, everything was kind of like split over, and with this line here with these um, with these hooks that we have everywhere, I know pretty much that everything is centered, uh, which is now helpful as well. Plus, it will give me like some exact lines where I can draw now the uh, the letters inside. So if I would take again the uh, paintbrush that I have here and start drawing something in here. I kind of know exactly where I have to end the letters and this is why I kind of like I always or often enough will use the grid builder in my own pieces in my own work. Um, and so the next step here is really to to start drawing in um, everything else and kind of filling it out. And what is great now is also I see kind of the spacing in between here is nice. It's it's really well balanced and I just need to add maybe maybe even find a picture like I could go you know what I don't know why I did this this way I kind of have to move this around um, because I'm gonna be using this for Instagram later on um, okay so even better is if I go now into unsplash unsplash is a great uh, platform to uh, find pictures so I can tap in here mountains uh, mountain and then see what kind of pictures they have and I'll see if I find something that is <clears throat> really interesting that could fit in really well like I like this one here I think I've already downloaded that once and I need to find something that has a lot of space in the in the sky um, this looks pretty much the same as the other one yeah looks kind of exactly the same and so what I'm really looking for is kind of like I drew here kind of like just like peaks of mountains so if we would take in um, here this mountain what about the big one? Is it Watzmann or which one? The big one? Which one? The big um, Swiss mountain, the Toblerone uh, mountain. The Matterhorn. Matterhorn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so That's if I go... It's a beautiful mountain. So here what I like about this one here is now if I can do a selection, I can actually take up this and then freeform, just move it up, kind of like that. So that's the easiest way to to um, get like increase the sky. And if I go back down here, like take it all behind. Now I can see if everything is pretty much centered or not. Um, I could add, maybe move the mountains in here a little bit, but I can also start by taking this sketch here. By inverting this here, I can simply change the colors to, to white. And, and so I could start out here by drawing in using the white brush and, and kind of like start drawing this in here. If I wanted to as well, I could also grab the letter builder, which is another tool that we have, is, is to draw now the letters like perfectly, which is also very helpful in this situation because I feel like the letters will become so much better and greater faster if I use the letter builder and you know what I think I'm gonna do that actually so I'm gonna get here red I'm gonna go to the letter builder choose which kind of style of font I want so I want the mount to be more condensed so I need a new layer it's getting a little bit messy here okay so how many letters does Mountain have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I'm not sure if I have nine. I do not have nine. I think I have to go one further. All right, I don't see this nearly enough, so I'm gonna make this more of a brighter color like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And now there's an I in here as well. So I'm gonna erase this part here. And then take this, push it together. And then finally move this in here so I can just use the transform tools to um, to push it around and here uniform that's in already that's perfect. 
having this here a little bit further down and then going to the warp tool advanced mesh and now I can move these mesh around this was far too much and finally dragging all these elements together there we go so now it's pretty much perfectly in form in shape and the cool thing is now that when I have to redraw the same N first of all I know exactly the spacing so if I go back here to my paintbrush I can start drawing for example the A easily There is a there's a really good recommendation. Maybe maybe you like it. Um, someone recommended um, that you could draw something based on uh, money haste next time. Ooh. I so okay. I I do like the recommendation, and I I'm always happy to hear recommendation. Why am I drawing an A here? I don't know how to spell <laughs> mountains. Um, <laughs> I'm not actually seeing the letters right, so that's why. Um, I only draw things that I believe are either really funny, um, that I feel like I uh, will make, like if it makes me laugh, it will make someone else laugh. And mm -hmm. I really want to use my account to inspire and encourage people. So I'm not necessarily believing that Money Heist has a quality of inspiring people and I'm not here necessarily to entertain people as well. So if I can teach people something, if I can uh, encourage people, um, then yes, absolutely I will do that. And for example, the these these quotes that I'm using here, the, the Bible verses, I believe that these are of encouraging nature, like faith can move mountains. So if we, if I spend time drawing it, I will actually learn a lot about um, about this as well, which is also awesome because I will think about like why, what is encouraging me here? What is, what does this quote, this verse actually tell me? Um, and in this case, it's kind of like... Yeah, what does it tell you actually? So if we think about faith can move mountains now, we often think of like literal mountains, but there's no actual use of us to move a literal mountain. Um, we, we live in Switzerland and yes, maybe sometimes it would be nice if if somebody who is digging a tunnel through, um, through a big mountain to actually rather have the mountain be moved. But what I believe in, in more is like, you know, you can stand in front of a problem facing a, a challenge. Um, like right now, I think a lot of artists independent artists are having a hard time like they are facing a mountain which if we name that mountain it might be uh, the stress of the corona crisis like i'm not getting any new jobs i'm i'm freaking out or maybe i've lost my job so suddenly your mountain becomes um this whole topic of you know what i don't know what what i will do be doing after this is all over because i just lost my job and i don't know if something is going away and mm -hmm. And this is where I believe faith is so important is because faith is is stronger, is bigger than the mountain. God is bigger than the mountain that you're facing. Mm. And so believing that God, whatever you're going through, um, it is actually so much bigger than anything you're facing. So for anyone who's listening, who's, who's watching this stream here, um, trust that whatever you're facing right now, like this will we will get through this, we will uh, go through this and we'll get stronger out of it. And the beautiful thing about a crisis is often that the, may, maybe some of the best things can happen out of a crisis. Like it's not, it's not fun yeah. and I'm not gonna say it is or it's, it's kind of like great. Um, but yeah, I believe that whatever fo uh, fountain, whatever mountain you're facing, there we have it. Um, that you'll get through this. God can move it. God can, um, yeah, can take it out, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of my favorite quotes, um, which is kind of related to that topic, is um, "The shadow proves the sunshine." Oh yeah. So, um, kind of, if you 
if you think it further, then you could say um, uh, the mountain, the the valley proves the mountain, you know? Yeah. So, and actually at this time right now, I'm in a valley definitely and I feel lonely and yeah. I don't have any jobs coming up as well due yeah. to the Corona crisis. Um, and I have been in those situations many, many times. But then, uh, and because I studied geography, um, as you learned yesterday, um, and I didn't have to study the geography in order to learn that um, uh, every there is no valley existing in this world without a mountain, yeah, um, or without a higher point. So you know that there is always um, a, a higher point somewhere when you are deep in the valley, and if you just keep on going, um, then you will come to the next higher point. You will come to the next mountain. And of course, maybe there will be another valley coming, but you know that if you keep pushing and you keep going, um, I think that's a secret something. That's so good. You know, just keep going um, and then you come to the next side and there is no valley in this world without a mountain. Exactly. So I think this is really, really beautiful. So I really like this quote that you're drawing today as well. Um, because for me, my faith is like actually moving the mountains and only with my faith I can like go through those valleys and yeah. I know that I will end up on the other end, on the other side. Um, so yeah, um, it's a very, very nice quote for me as well. Yeah. So good. Luca. So, and also for you guys, if, if, you, if you're in lockdown and you're at home, um, uh, I think it's the best actually right now what you do, like to keep creating, to, to watch videos like this to do some and not just um, uh, procrastinate you know um, yeah this is so cool there there are a lot of people so this is something that i find interesting as well like i was listening to simon sinek um a talk that he was giving and he is also great like um, a great author um and and so he was doing a lot of um motivational speaking and said like in this time when you're going through a um, like this time that you're not just procrastinating, you're not just waiting, but you're actually um, using this time to to move forward, to not wait for things to be over, but to actually make the most out of this time. And so this could yeah. be your time to really uh, be proactive. And for everyone who's creating, everyone who's drawing something, making something, this is the best time uh, to do it. Okay, yeah. I finished the mountain. I had to do some small adjustments here and there to kind of move those letters together, but I'm pretty excited how it's looking and 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 seeing. That's and really cool, really beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. So now we just have to kind of like maybe give some nice touches, finishes, like polish it a little bit here and there. But the cool thing about this brush too here, the the paintbrush, is that it looks so faded and you cannot really see this on on the screen so well um, but you see kind of like it's imperfect it ha doesn't have the perfect quality and so it's a lot easier to draw with that uh, right now and let's move on to the second word here um, let's see The move or which one is coming Yeah, the, the next one is move. Nice. Someone commented that um, uh, that quote from The Shadow Proofs the Sunshine is a song um, by Switchfoot. And yeah, um, that's where I have this quote from. I oh yeah, I remember that song, um, yeah. Favorite bands. Yeah, it's one of my favorite bands of all time. And I've been listening to them for, I don't know, 14 years or something and they have um, actually brought me through a lot of valleys their music um, so shout out um, to John Foreman and the band Switchfoot yeah yeah, yeah um, one of their if songs you too. have never listened to the band Switchfoot or John Foreman yeah one of their Which songs is, is do you know some songs from Switchfoot yeah. as well yeah I do so my I was going through a really rough time in 2016 I think and and so in that time they came out with a song with um what's her name um lauren daigle um and and that song 
I think my brother sent that that one to me and it's it made such a difference like it was really it was exactly what I needed to hear and I felt so like I feel like that was kind of like the big hug that I got at that time and it was perfect um, because I was kind of like going through kind of like a breakup but not really a breakup it's hard to, mm. to explain that um, but it was yeah kind of like promises of God and knowing that he's around it's really good really nice What am I trying to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do. Um, so other um, can recommend um, uh, like pens and brushes you can recommend for lettering on paper. And there's another question related to that. If you also do live drawings on paper. I do live drawings on paper. So the on Monday, we actually did one on paper. Um, that was just the last one. Uh, it's lettering names. And so you can watch that one. It's it's really fun because we're doing a lot of different styles of names and using uh, pen brushes as well. I also showed kind of like the difference between a few brushes. On uh, on Friday, I'm going to do a uh, live stream and we're going to tackle like how to to do uh, brush lettering or brush lettering, cursive lettering. And so that's going to be with pencil. It's going to be super easy. Um, it's, it's meant for, uh, to be an intro for anyone who's wanting to get started, wanting to learn something new. Um, I really believe that I'm not the right person to teach anything about uh, cursive lettering, um, but I do believe that I mm. can teach some fundamentals since I have not learned it and I'm not necessarily the best at it, but I can figure it out. And uh, as you have seen it last Friday on my last live stream, when I don't know things, I get really excited whenever I figure it out, even if it's live. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun to do that. And guys, also, I want to just mention, thank you guys for liking this video. Um, I already see 76 likes. I see 200 people, and I believe we can hit the 200 mark. Last week, we reached the 200 mark before we were done. Maybe this week, we can hit the 250 mark. <coughs> oh, yeah. If people can come in. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Um, so there is another question. Do you prefer digital or paper, Stefan? I like both. So ima <clears throat> imagine it's kind of like you cannot choose between your kids. And I, I, it feels weird that I'm saying this because I don't have any kids. But it's, uh, <laughs> I can just imagine how, how it would be if you had to choose between your kids. It's kind of, or like choosing between your parents. Like, yes, maybe you like one better but only because of a certain relationship but with your kids it's one or the other i i love drawing digitally for mm. specific reasons like the ones that i can move things around i can easily um like change size uh, change brushes and i all have that in in the palm of my hands but the but the texture like if you would take a piece of paper here and you would actually take a brush and like do this, like there's just nothing that compares to that. So that's mm. weird. And I feel like the video here on, like I'm speaking and this is live, but the video that comes beneath it is not live, which is weird. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is. Let's see if we can do Weird, yeah. another word up so, here. Um, what's your what's your favorite quote you've lettered, Stefan? Is there is there one quote? Is it um, uh, create something today even if it sucks because that's the most prominent yeah. quote or yeah, yeah? This, this one I, I really like that one uh, for for different reasons. Um, I feel like it's just really inspiring. Um, like create something today even if it sucks. You can actually also just use different words as well. Like it, it always come back to kind of like excuses. Like you can uh, create something even if it's not perfect. Create something today even if even if you're in lockdown. Create something today even mm -hmm. if you only have five minutes. Create something today even if it won't get you an award or something like that. Like like there's so many topics you could talk about. Um, mm -hmm. And and so that's why I love this quote because it really 
it really reminds me of like, you know, doing something. Plus, I often will not draw or create anything because I feel like, oh, I don't know, like there's nothing really that I want to be drawing. And, and when I know that, it's, it's funny because I will often, um, I will often just, just do nothing because I like create something today, even if it's not original and seeing that it's kind of like, mm -hmm. I would have to draw something even if it's not perfect, even not, if it's not original, even if I've drawn that quote already several times, like I don't always need to draw a new quote. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's, what's your favorite Bible verse? That's also a question that came in twice now Ooh, already. Uh, I don't know. What is my favorite Bible verse? Um, I think God can do more than you could ever ask or imagine. I think I, I love that verse just because it's so bold and so, mm -hmm. so crazy to think about it. Um, and that, mm -hmm. you know, if you're someone who has a, a big imagination that you can feel like, well, I can... I can dream of a lot of things like there's surely there's not it's not impossible to outdream what god can do and i was like no if you if you can think of it like it's it's there's nothing that you can think of that he couldn't do um and so mm. this is always kind of like this time like if you think like it would be crazy if like cr the coronavirus would from from uh, today would just be gone uh like mm -hmm like it would be a miracle and be unexplainable. And I believe, I totally believe that God can do it. Will God do it is a different question, but I believe that he can do it. And so God can yeah. do way more than you can ask or imagine. That mm -hmm. is a, I love that quote or that verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some, some favorite quotes, um, but one is um, Philippians um, 4.13. Um, I can do everything um, through Christ, I can oh, do yeah. all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, then also Psalm 23 is just so powerful. Um, also speaking about the valley, which we talked about. Uh, um, like even if through the valley, um, of death and dying, and you're with me. So it's it's a very powerful psalm which I sing and read a lot. Um, yeah. Love it. I think those are my two two favorite ones. So another one for us: um, What are your favorite colors? Uh, so if you want, if you will see this through my my work, um, that I'm very colorless. Like you just go through my book. Um, there is gonna be pictures that have color inside, but usually my work itself, it's very colorless. Like it's usually black and white, uh, or black or white, and I do have one favorite color and it's mm. kind of this, um, it's almost turquoise, kind of like this green bluish. It's kind of like nicely in between, which I really like. Um, but yeah, not very, very into colors. Yeah, my clothing style is not very into colors as well. Today I'm wearing a, a blue um, fleece, but- um, uh, You're way more colorful than I am. <laughs> yeah. but normally i'm not so colorful but um my favorite color is blue um this very intense dark blue um also uh, the kind of the blue that i also use for the one world flag um i think that's my that's my favorite color yeah and it's always been my favorite color since i i don't know also the blue whale was always my favorite animal um and i just love the color blue um, do you remember this this song? I don't know. It's been like I don't know, twenty years or something. Um, I'm blue. Oh, I'm Eiffel sixty five. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I love that song because back then my favorite color was blue, and I was just going bananas for those for this song. <laughs> I bet that yeah. is true. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah. Here, someone is commenting black and white for the win. Yeah, black but, and white. Like this has kind of been my. True. Black and always is always black. It's clipping mass. So someone is commenting Romans eight is another powerful passage for the values of our lives. I have to read that. I'm noting it down. Romans eight. 
All right, so here. So Stefan, yeah. um, uh, what are you doing next? All right, so right now I'm trying to figure out, like, get the move, the word move in here. Um, again, using the letter builder, I was trying it without. Feel like it would just come a lot better using it with and faster. And you gotta imagine, like, we started off like less than an hour ago and we're almost done. I feel like this is actually really fast and powerful. And now I'm going back to my brush here and now I can just use this and fill it out again. But the, uh, the interesting part will come next. Like I usually, my creative process is, is usually a four step creative process. And so in my workshops, um, unfortunately we cannot have any workshops right now. It's, um, and I had to cancel. I would have had one on fr uh, Saturday and Sunday. Even my first iPad lettering workshop um, would have been happening on, on the weekend. But right now, I'm really excited to be, um, yeah, to be just teaching um, here faith, online. Faith, um, someone is coming oh. faith, not move. It's true, it's um, not uh, move can move mountains. So good, see? This is why I do this online. <laughs> move can move mountains, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I would have thank been, you for your help guys yeah <laughs> maybe I would have been more concentrated if I had yeah. that so here I'm using the text function of the letter builder so I can just go back here and then um, type in so faith f-a-i-t-h so five letters that should be right and now I can kind of like decide between the kerning just like make it a little bit narrower or further apart spaced out i like this um and then i can also just increase the size to mm. to something so this kind of the text function works really easily and now a lot of people might ask like why are you not just using text is because i just like the flexibility it gives me here um that i love to do this so Tavis, you commented that your favorite color is green. Explain for me why. Why is your favorite color green? I know this guy. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> is it Tavis Beck? Yeah, Tavis Beck. Ah. You know him as well. Yeah, I shot their wedding. Right? I took their wedding pictures. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fun story. It's actually a fun story. So Tavis, shout out from us to you. Stay healthy. Um, uh, so uh, what are our denominations? You know what? I have no idea. I think idea. it's the same, right? I do not know. But I would, I would assume it's the same, yes. Right? Hmm? So you can also help me out if you know exactly um, the denomination for Hillsong Church. Then you can you can tell me because that's my that's my church I'm going to, and I'm serving in. So see, this is why like I think like European countries don't use denomination denomination in the sense as Americans do. This is why it's yeah, kind of true. hard hard to answer that question, and like probably would that's go into true. the non-denominational. Um, more than anything else so yeah 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 let's see if someone has an answer so stefan another question cold yeah. play or chester cold play or what or justin bieber or justin bieber um uh... They're not the same. They're not in the same league or not the same league. That's that's also not true. Um, I, I really like Justin Bieber's music. Um, his music has gotten so much better over the years. And and I just like, I feel like his songs, like I can repeat them in my, my mind. And it's kind of like the never say never, never. Kind of like that stays always. But at the same time, Coldplay is also very cold status. They have their own great songs, um, the shining like a the sh stars. Um, I, I wouldn't even know the titles of the songs right now, but I love mm. both. 
and I'm not gonna say which one I like more than the other because I do not feel like they're they're like playing in the same same style or something. It's kind of like even choosing like who's your favorite artist like like they're yeah. different. Do you do you have in shower? Do you shower with music or in silence? I just realized that I drew on the same layer as the other one, but this is okay. I can make this happen. Um, do I shower with music or without? I shower without music, mostly. Mm -hmm. Do you shower with music? Yeah, always, always, always with music. But do you prefer um, do you prefer shower or bathtub? Ah, uh, shower. Shower. Yeah. We have a we have a bathtub, but I rarely ever use it. Yeah, and if you go out for a walk or for running, um, are you listening to music then, or yeah. so podcasts yeah. or music? Music. Well, if it's a long run, I'll listen to podcasts. Uh, something that will occupy my mind for a long time. By the way, for those who are who don't know, uh, we have a podcast. Uh, my friend Lauren and I, we have our own podcast called The Striving Artists. Right now, we're on a break. Um, we're taking a break, we're planning a new season, but we recorded something uh, a couple of days ago or a week ago. And um, yeah, we're really enjoying this. Um, and so if you want to have something to listen to while you're drawing, while you're doing your 30 days of Bible lettering uh, challenge, um, there's some creative advice there. Lauren is a great co-host. Uh, we're having so much fun and learning so much from each other. And yeah, it has helped a lot of people as well. So. Check that out. It's called the Striving Artist Podcast, and you'll find it on any platform you listen to. Yeah, I actually listened to it. Yeah. Um, to the episode about um, routines and yeah. habits. Yeah. And it's very good. I can really recommend it to you guys. Thank you. Um, if you're interested in uh, knowing things about habits, routines, how to build routines, um, how routines can become habits, maybe as well, then listen to it. It's it's a good good podcast. Yeah. All right, Thomas, tell um, me about, so this, about how do you yeah. stay creative? Like, how do you how do you come up with the, the causes that you're trying to to move? Like you are an activist um, yeah. and you have like two, two, I think, well, more than two things that you're really fighting for. Like the the one world flag is a big one. Um, you're trying yeah, to the move one world flag here. is like the most yeah. recent one. That's true. Yeah. But I did like many, many different campaigns, um, different campaigns, like um, getting people to vote, for example, um, in Europe. Then I did a big campaign two years ago, um, fighting sexism in football, um, which had a reach over 7 million people on Snapchat alone and wow. then reached the FIFA. So it changed actually a lot. Um, and I'm like, I did a campaign um, against the um, U.S. president before his election, because I thought that um, uh, his his words are contradictions um, to what he actually does, or um, that he is just a very contradicting per person himself. Um, so I'm just like trying to to make people think with my campaigns and with my initiatives. Um, and what the idea is, how do I get them? I think I spend a lot of time. Um, for myself, definitely, like reflecting on things, but at the same time, um, and that's very nice because I'm, um, I had a very good conversation with the former head designer of BMW mm. in Munich. And he said a very, very nice thing that I remember and that I'm also quoting a lot on festivals or conferences where I'm speaking. Um, he said that as a creative plant, you can see yourself as a creative plant. So every plant needs water. Um, and that meaning um, is fresh ideas, fresh input, um, inspiring people around you. Um, and if you don't get this water, then you will die in the end. Mm -hmm. So I try to read magazines. Um, I have a very nice bookstore here in Munich, a magazine store where I read magazines and I just um, try to, yeah, to, to open my horizon as, as far as wide as possible mm -hmm. and then because then you can take so many things so many things. and because the definition for creativity in my eyes is not creating something out of nothing but to take things that already exist and change them and create something new out of them 
Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so in order for that, you have to just get yourself surrounded by creative people, by inspiring people, people with ideas, um, read, um, uh, go through magazines. That's what's helping me a lot. Yeah. I really like that. I feel like what you just said, like surround yourself with creatives. I think that's what we're doing right here, right now. Um, with this live stream as well, we're just hanging out with a bunch of creatives. Um, I hear that a lot of you are also drawing. I can see that in the comments and it's really fun. So for me, it's it's a big honor to get to do this as well, to have a chat with you as well uh, here. And yeah, it's it's crazy. Like if you have the right people around you, like somebody said, like, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Um, mm surrounding with the right people um listening to the right things podcasts movies um can do a lot to you to your yeah to your future to what you're doing yeah yeah that's so true um and it's helping a lot and i'm so thankful for all the um uh, friend i have um, that pushed projects of mine just by encouraging me hey thomas go do it I remember you like two years ago before I went to Russia for the project that you also encouraged me and you prayed for me. And that's so helpful, you know. So I challenge you guys in this season now as well. Um, uh, why don't you just encourage someone in your, um, yeah, yeah, amongst your friends and um, ask them for a project they do. You don't really have to like the project, but encourage them to. Mm-hmm. If it's their hard project, why not encourage them to to try it? And if it's if it's not successful maybe yeah that's how it is i tried many projects and i failed but sometimes it's just the step of actually doing it and then you can learn so you have to take the step and then you can learn um something out of it yeah that is very true so there's um there's another question um uh, and it's a funny question because i spent today one hour drawing something for my mother because it's her birthday tomorrow um uh, and it says, and I can't meet her um, because it's locked down and I can't go to visit her. So um, when family members have birthdays, do you use your lettering skills to make them a card or not, Stefan? What do you think? I think um, you do. <laughs> I think you write beautiful cards. Uh, I'm terrible with birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, makes me look so bad. Um, no, I actually do not. Like, I did one time gift all everyone in my family. I like, asked them which one was their favorite Bible verse. And the fun, mm-hmm. fun thing was that that year I didn't have time to do anything. But the year after I did. And so I took back the, the message that they sent me. And I, like, wrote down. I, I drew, like, all of them a big poster. Which is cool because it's mm-hmm. still hanging inside everyone's like my brother, my sister, uh, my parents, like it's still hanging in their apartment. Um, okay. And so that is awesome. But yeah, I don't, I don't really, really do anything apart from that, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. And uh, mm. yeah. Okay. So I think I did most of the drawing around. What I'm not really happy with is kind of like this flag on top. So usually, what I will do is address parts that I'm not happy with, like here, this line, it could not just fade through. Um, so what I'll do is usually we'll just draw some outlines around here. So to make that look a little bit more believable, because otherwise you would just know that I just drew inside of it or on top of it. And that's not a great look. So maybe just add some lines here to hide a little bit of that. And it's a lot of illusion, like illusion tricks. Uh, You know kind of what you want to get where you play around with it and so on And then when I've done that the one thing is the next thing is kind of like all right I want to add some some decorative elements. I want to fill it out a little bit. So maybe um, get a new layer and they're like stars or just Fills like that that you can do which is one of the things I use probably most in my pieces are these type of stars um, so here, up here, there's a gap. So in, down here, there's also a gap, which opens really nicely to, to filling this out. 
Mm. Maybe I'll actually do a bigger one here. I like it with the star, actually. Yeah, kind of gives you not, like a night feel effect. Mm -hmm. um, something like that, yeah. And kind of like the dots, maybe a little star twinkle here. Something around, but you could also go another way. It's to actually add like some, like from the mountains, you know how like a sun is rising. So imagine the O was kind of like the sun that would just pop through the mountains in the back here. And you have like some rays of light that would come out kind of like this. That could also be interesting, but I'm not sure if I want to go that route here. Um, I like the stars more. Yeah. So guys, you can comment. Um, uh, what would you prefer? Um, the stars or the rays of light? I often feel it's dangerous to ask other people to decide which one we should do, <laughs> which is at the end, I will always decide for myself. Like I'm never going to let the decision, like not going to do something unless yeah. it's for a client there. It's, it's absolutely something different, but here I want to be really excited about what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah. guys, if I somehow did not take it or, or listen to your, to your comment, your feedback, don't, be offended. don't, don't, please don't be offended. Let's, yeah. But which one are you going for now? Is it the stars? I feel like, yeah, the stars is kind of nice. I actually do like the okay. stars. But then you're doing everything right because I think 90% of... Yeah, most are saying stars. You're <laughs> beautiful. And I want you to send it to me and I put it as a screensaver. There we go. After see. our life. Now, one <laughs> thing that I want to try, oh, now it's limited to all these layers. Okay, let's see which one I can. So I use all the grids in the background, which I don't, probably won't need anymore. Maybe I'll, I'll keep it just for good measures. Um, I don't need those sketches here. Um, but now I can add another layer. Well, actually I don't need that layer. I just want to duplicate that. And then kind of get that dark background here, that color, fill the layer, and then reduce the size a little bit. Ooh, that's a lot. And then I can move it down here just a tiny little bit. And now look at what we'll do. We'll do a 3D effect and Anyone who's been watching all the streams knows how much I love the 3D effect. And it's just going to be really subtle here. I'm just going to connect these parts. So that's a quick job back and forth. Laura was commenting, just love Stefan's tutorials. Buy the lettering bundle, everyone's Aww. so helpful. That's Thank super you, Laura, kind. for your yeah. support. So many people commented the stars, it's so cool. Huh, see. And they love the effect. Um, the you just the three D effect, yeah. It's so much fun because it kinda like it will bring out the, the letters a little bit out more. And so that's always fun to do. Um, and the question is, do you do it for everything or just for, for these parts? Because you can kind of let the, the move in the background. You can also duplicate the move, um, which, where did I put the move? Oh, there we go. Do kind of the same thing here as well fill the layer and then move it a little bit to the background, not as much. Move the move. Move the move. 
<laughs> so, are there any other questions? Yeah, there was another question um, for you, Stefan, that I ignored in the beginning. Um, and I'm sorry for that, but I'm getting back to it. Um, because it was three people asking actually the same question. Um, how did you start lettering? Um, and maybe that's an interesting question for some people watching your lives. Yeah, so it's funny because I I got started, I, I, I tell that story in my, my workshops all the time because a lot of people assume that, you know, I have a background in design and everything and I just don't have that. Um, but what I did was I uh, loved lettering. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm just saying something that's not true. Um, no, so how I got started was that one day I decided to actually make, like either use Instagram for real or not at all. And so, because I was just posting random things and they didn't make any sense. And I, I decided to, to actually go for it and really do something with it but I didn't know exactly what. Mm -hmm. And what I did end up with doing was um, posting on, on Instagram, like taking a picture of a Lego reindeer. And so if you scroll back all the way on my, on my feed is I actually um, was sharing a picture of a Lego reindeer and I thought it was really cool. And I just put up a text with um, an iPhone app and just saying like reindeer and I thought it was really the, the coolest thing. So you'll see my, my hashtag saying like feeling like a kid, hashtag hipster cam, hashtag hipster and stuff like that. So total nonsense. Um, but again, I thought it was cool. It was the sh and, and so yeah, that just shows you how, how stupid you were back then. But at the same time, I was really excited about it. Um, and, and then, yeah, it, it started to like, I always have this thing where it's like trying to improve one step at a time and, and to, to make that happen. And uh, I, I kept on working on it, kept improving my, my thing. And I use another app. I, use an, I, I was looking for apps that like showed me more what I could do. And I, um, and, and, and I use that. So let's see if I can get that on my computer. Perfect. Um, mm. Did it export? Yes, export successfully. Good. Um, nice. Now, if I, if I switch, I wouldn't see you anymore. Um, so what I did after then was I, I saw that my, my iPhone was limiting my, my abilities to create and I end up really starting to, um, to draw by hand using uh, paper and uh, that actually helped me to grow my skills um, and grow my abilities to uh, to create and so that's when i started doing hand lettering was actually using more of um, my my drawing skills um, and and going back there but you see drawing letters is super hard it's really probably the hardest thing that i have to do because even if you're drawing faces and people, um, it's complicated. But yeah, the um, drawing uh, letters is hard because we see letters every single day and we see them on billboards, we see them on advertisements, we see them in books, on, on the internet, every single where we look. Yeah. And, and so that is something that made it so hard. And so I had to figure out like, how do you draw letters? What, are, what is essential in letters? And what, like all these, all these questions that I forget. Um, and that's how I got started and it took a long time. And then at 2017 is when I really switched to being professional. And I yeah. see that Kiera is asking, yeah. how long did it take you to understand how to draw the 3D letters that you did at live stream on a few days um, ago? So 3D letters in general is something that I, I learned really fast because I was drawing a lot of architectural pieces and images and, and that was a lot of fun for me. I, I actually have a sketchbook. Let me just try to get that sketchbook quickly. And so one of the things, one of the things my assistant actually showed a lot of guys, uh, a lot of my Patreons is kind of like the, my sketchbook was inside my sketchbooks, but here you guys get a look like I drew pictures of houses. Um, oh yeah, okay of like, what is it? Um, 
Like this would be the indoor of my uh, indoor gym if I had like a huge mansion and villa. Um, actually, I could show it just here. It's so much easier. Um, yeah, like a whole home cinema theater. Um, that's the the di dinner room, dining room. Here's a helicopter. I believed, always believed that I would be a successful entrepreneur and have like a huge villa and a helicopter with the name of my company on here. So crazy stuff. That's a, the brand that I wanted to have. White. <laughs> and I will, well, I, my brand would have been white, but I was wearing black all the time or I'm still wearing black now all the time. So yeah. So there are a lot of fun <laughs> stories. I really like it. <laughs> all right. Let me see if I can get the, it's really nice. the picture in here to show you kind of the end result. Uh, without actually using the iPad. Let's see. Huh. Someone right. commented, I was terrified of doing the challenge gripped by perfection, but doing it along with the stream makes it almost like a job and much more relaxed. Thanks, guys. So good. So That's fit to screen, there we go. This is the final end result uh, for this first one that I did here during the live stream. Um, I didn't have high expectations of making it perfect right now. I, I might do some tweaks and, and change a couple of things uh, before or before I post it. If I post it, that's another question. Um, but I really recommend posting it just to keep moving, keep trying, keep experimenting. And um, this is yeah, I think it's it's been a really a lot of fun. Thank you, Thomas, so much for joining uh, the live stream. No I'm gonna worries. I'm going to switch to the front camera and do the... Thanks for being part of this, yeah. Ending, thank you. So, guys, I wanted Thanks. to say thank you so much for joining into the live stream. I really appreciate it. I hope that you learned something new, that you guys got to be creative. Thank you for asking all these nice questions and um, to yeah be a part of this conversation. I really enjoyed this. I wanted to say thank you to also a couple of new Patreons that joined the Patreon group and community. So we got Anna Laura, who is always here in the live stream as well. She's, uh, you'll know her better under the name of Supernova, but we also got now, wow, just in this last hour, Kelly Miller, Beate, Levis Carroll, Martina, and, and so many more. We got Just, Phoebe, uh, Phoebe Durley, Roma Beryl, so many new members, and I'm excited to spend some time with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, well, face-to-face -face on, um, on Zoom, on the webinar, where you guys get to ask a lot of questions. Right now, we're collecting good questions to then talk about on Friday, where you guys can join in live and you see like all the other members too. And um, again, thank you so much for liking this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on Friday to do an intro to cursive lettering, which I, it's really exciting about. And I might have another special guest who will be helping me out in explaining this. And it's gonna be amazing. Guys, enjoy your week, make the best out of it. Again, believe that God can move mountains, that your faith can move mountains. So if you need this today, I hope that you have that. And yeah, surround yourself with creative people. That's what I get out of this conversation with Thomas. And I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in yes. and spending a lot of great quality time with us. All right, see you guys and uh, talk to you soon on Friday. And don't forget to post it on Instagram and tag me in it because I want to see what you guys create. I'm always super excited to see that. All right, that's it. Bye.